everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today it is the season finale, it is the final recap of the season. We were against St Johnson, obviously, away from home. And now I've seen a lot of people, and I mentioned that in my other videos, not bothering about the game, saying it's a dead robber, doesn't matter, why are you watching it, blah blah blah. Because we're Rangers, I support Rangers, I support the team, until the final whistle goes for the season. Thank fuck that's gone. And uh, I just want to say I'm not going to be reflecting on the entire season as a, um, as like a, a whole circle video just now. I'm going to be making up my own type of video in the next couple of days. I'm going to get a couple of Rangers YouTubers, even some other YouTubers. I'll see um, what else I can do. I've seen some of your suggestions like Sharp Dev and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know any of them personally. So if you want to see them, make sure to be telling them and they can hit me up on uh on Twitter or something like that, and we'll get them involved somehow. Uh, so today's video is actually going to be just be about the St. Johnson game, and to be honest with you, I was quite impressed with how we started the game, actually. Um, especially against St. Johnson, who's a very tough side. They've got their bit of their tails up, they're playing a bit well. Um, I was expecting a much tighter game, even though I did predict 3-1. Can I just say, lads, I've been predicting 2-1 for Rangers seven times this season. Seven times. It's never been once, because it's been against Celtic. And I thought, Ken Whit, when I make my St. Johnson review, I'm going to go 2-1. And you can actually see it in my video. If you go back and watch the prediction, I change it to 3-1. You can see it in my eyes. I'm just so disappointed, lads. I finally, I could have went out with 1, so now I'm 0-8 for the season. Which is great. 0-8. And I ain't care how that's fucking possible. So, I don't know. If, maybe you, if you didn't have a Rangers fan or you didn't come here for the football, if you come here for the betting, I mean, that's fair enough. Because 0-8 is a pretty good score, I think. But back to the actual game, now there's a lot of youngsters starting, I thought um, 9 times out of 10 they all pretty much played well, I thought, I thought Aidan Wilson played a really really good game, I thought Bates had a solid game even though he's a very very awkward human being, uh, I just wish he would win, win more headers from like corners and stuff like that for us, not like um, when we're defending them, he's just such a tall lad isn't he, 6'4", 6'5", just doesn't he seem as physically um, strong enough to sort of bully people, but hopefully he's just a young lad, if he... Like, he'll, he'll improve as the game goes on, he'll get matured, and he'll start being able to really attack the ball. So I think he's got a bright future. I thought Beerman, now, Beerman has a, has a difficulty when he's up against anyone who's quicker or has the same pace as him. And I've noticed that because I always rate Beerman, um, hashtag Batesman, uh, Beerman's really, really good player. And I do think he's got a bright future ahead of him. I just think, um, again, he was torn apart by Thompson, again, for instance, Johnson, every single time. He seems to be, uh, Beerman's relying a lot on his pace because he's not really got um, positional awareness or defensive ability quite yet. So he's relying on his pace. But when anyone's just as quick as on him or even um, quicker, you just see what happens to him. But I thought he played a couple of decent balls, a couple of wayward passes. So I'd say he's probably the weakest one um, that, that of the youth players that started today. Moving on to my man in the match of the youth players. Uh, it's obviously going to be Bar Jonas if you didn't know. This kid's fucking special. He really, really is. He's got something absolutely special. Um, I think it was um, Tom Miller who mentioned on the commentary that every time, just before he gets the ball, he has a quick scan around. So he sees the ball coming to him. He'll go like that right away, and that's it. And he doesn't need to look again. He's locked. He knows where everybody is. He very, very rarely wastes possession. He holds the ball well. He dives into tackles. He's strong. He doesn't back out. Um, he's got quite a good engine on him, actually. As well. He's not crazy pace, but he's got a good engine. Obviously, I think he lasted to around about the 8th, 7th minute or something today. So, for that, for a young star, it's tremendous. Um, he ran his heart out, and he was really, really unlucky for um, not to score a goal right at the very end as well. I think he should have scored it, but the goalkeeper made a really good save. It was quite clever, actually, because he shaped it as if he was going to curl it into the right-hand side, but then dropped it back and cut it to the left, and the goalkeeper makes a good reaction save. So, that was tidy from him. Um, and yeah, the only sore point about uh, Bar Jonas is the fact that he had to share his name with Andy Halliday. I mean, he's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk. He's a con, a bullshit artist. Uh, I really shot myself. I really did. See, when he came on, I was like, <laughs> I was like, fuck no. No, please, Jesus. The only thing I will say, though, is... Um, I was kind of laughing, um, the, the tactical assistant or whatever it is for Pedro was like delaying Ali Andy Halliday coming on as much as he can because he kept going to him, no, give me an answer to tell you something. He was looking up at the clock, he was like, too early, 8th, 5th minute, no thanks. But I'll show you something else, probably just doing like cro uh, snakes and ladders with him or something like that, just to get him off the field as much as possible. But I just want to talk about a couple of things about the game, then I'm going to jump to the subscriber recaps because I've kind of rambled on for long enough now. Um, and also let me know down below, do you want these to continue next season, obviously... 
Um, I don't want to bore you guys and everything like that as we come into next season. Do you want to continue to see the fan recaps? If you could all put that down in the comments, either a yes or no. Maybe give me a wee reason why. That would be absolutely tremendous and we'll see where we go from there. So, I thought Rangers controlled most of the game. But the thing that Rangers do all the time is they create chances. They just don't put them away. And Wycon again, is a big, big fucking lad. And I love Wycon. I always say it. I love, I love Wycon. Um, the big five bastard. But he certainly misses so many chances. He does everything. He does everything right. Like he touch a ball down on a six pin, strokes it like that, and then he rolls it to the goalkeeper, or he'll hit it at the bar, or he'll run it out of play. Um, and you're just thinking to yourself, what is actually going on with him? Like surely he's he's a he has an impact finisher. And they were trying to stick up for him. And Tom Miller was trying to stick up for him a lot on Rangers TV and trying to make excuses for him. But at the same time, they need to start putting these chances away. Um, but again, I thought he'd done alright. I'd give him about a 6 or 7 out of 10. He obviously got his goal. He uh, got an assist, sorry, from uh, Miller, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, he, like, he cut him with his right foot, which was unusual. Miller finishes it perfectly. Miller, I thought he'd done okay again today. Got his goal. Probably should have had a, a few more, actually, if anyone wants the entire game. It's been one over the bar um, early on from a cutback from Tavernier as well. And also one where it was a beautiful cross by the spineless bitch, uh, Toral, and he just hits it right over. Um, Tarao, a lot of people saying to me, do you expect him to stay or anything? Do you want him to stay? Certainly not. Not for me. Doesn't do enough, even though he did score. Uh, he certainly fucks up enough. Spineless little bitch. No, thank you. He's gone. Ryan Jack, right back into that squad with Holt in the midfield, who's an absolute machine. I really like him. Uh, again, he's hit and miss. He has, he has a 6 and an 8 out of 10 every sort of game or two. But again, hopefully if he's playing with someone a bit more defensive-minded, that'll put him in some protection and we'll carry it on from there. Anyone else deserves a wee shout? I thought uh, Alwick or whatever his name, Alwick, or, I don't know. And the very unusual hairstyle. Uh, I thought he was a pretty... He'd done alright. He made a fantastic a fantastic save um, when one of the St. John's players hurled it down. And I can't remember who it was. Was it McLean who hit it first time? And that was a great spread out, like Smeichel-esque spread out. Made a good save. And I thought, yeah, the whole team played decent. I thought Tavernier was, again, fantastic. Offensively, not really defensively, but offensively really good. And I think that's it. So I think some um, all the bright spots... It was good seeing some of the young laddies come on, um, and also I think it was Kyle Bradford as well who came on. Didn't really do much in the game, but again, getting some experience. So I'm happy with it. It is a season ender up against a tough side. I'll take the 2-1. Uh, but yeah, three points is three points. We end the season with one. Hopefully we do that. But let's jump over to the subscriber recaps now. Three, we'll read it out. Jordan Smith, Jordan underscore Smith, 1-1-1. Never saw, never saw the game, but happy season is over. Fair play. Uh, Robbie Cameron, Robbie, uh, Rab underscore Cameron. Young lads look good. Completely agree. Lewis, uh, the channel legend, uh, Louis MCI, uh, hashtag subscribe recap. Thank God with the, the season is over. Glad to come away with a win. Me too. Jack Cameron, another channel legend, Jack Cameron 203. Well, thank God that season's over. Uh, but today was a good win, but made worse when Halliday stepped on the field. Right. Uh, how many times have I said his name? I think that's like two or three times. I can't say it again or he'll peer just over my shoulder, so we didn't want to say that. He'll probably sign a new five-year deal if I say his name again. Another good performance by Bar Jonas. Need a bit... Uh, 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 sorry, wait a minute. Really good performance by Bar Jonas. Hey, I think he's trying to say has a big future, but he said had a big future. Has a big future ahead of him at Rangers. That 90 minutes just sums up sums up Wycon season. I completely agree. Everything right but the finish. Moving on to the next one. It's come from Ben McNichol. Ben McNichol 2. The young lads played well. King Kenny uh, once again scoring for us. James 72 at James I 72. Thank God the season is over. Worst season I can remember by a long time. Uh, my worst season was when we didn't get promoted from the championship. I thought that was just a disaster of a season. Uh, Archie McMinn. Uh, Archie McMinn. We played decent, but not our best ha performance. It could have been until... It could have been 3-1 until you know who came on. I'm not saying his name. Uh, Alan Webster. Uh, uh, Alan Webster, 19. Bad Jonas and Wilson were class. The one time you should have picked 2-1. You never... Dinner. That upsets me. Ewan Hall at Ewan Hall 151. Scrappy at times, but it was a good performance considering all the youth players going. Why can't should have had a goal? Roll on 2016-2017 season. Is that not this season? Do we not visit? I don't know. Uh, Kami, uh, uh, another channel legend. Also, Ewan Hall, you get the channel legend badge. Uh, Pedro the Prode, thank fuck the season is over. Hashtag subscribe recap. Fair play. Um, let's see, Charles McChesney. Uh, thank... I think all the youth players played well with Aidan Wilson and J Jamie Barjus, uh, Barjona, sorry, the standouts. Another solid game from the two youngsters. Completely agree. You and Taylor, you and Taylor won. Well deserved. Could have been three or four for us. Fought Bates, Beerman, and Barjonas did well. Even Bangle Boy put in a decent shift. Yeah, I actually forgot to mention him. He done a lot of good things right, but again, he still, I don't know, there's something no right with him. Uh, hopefully, he just continues to get better and better as the time goes on. Obviously, he's got tremendous talent and just needs to show up more consistently. Liam Smith, 993. Pretty bad performance. 
to end a shit season. I completely disagree with that. I, I thought we played really well against the tough side. Uh, Craig, 1872, 1873-1-2. Was really impressed with the whole squad, but real, was really impressed with Windass. He was a completely different player today. Uh, <laughs> it was 2-1, not 3-1. I know. Sadly, uh, Ross McNichol, Ross McNichol won good, uh, good end to the season. Young boys look good and on to the end to the next season. Mark Mendes, another channel legend. Not many performance, not 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 many bad performance, especially the youth. You, uh, Windass and Tav, fuck me, Mark. You're right, this enemy is confusing me. Make me look right, Dick. Uh, Tav's done well for the goal. Few of their last games. Uh, thanks for the effort. That's sound. Uh, Barry F eighteen Barry. Subscribe to recap. Hashtag that well played. Uh, win to end a poor season, but with a turnover in the summer, can't wait till next season. <laughs> Whack on is a sack of shit. Neuron, uh, Nuri Sinton, I can't pronounce your name, mate, sorry. Uh, it's over, it's, it's over, it's finally over. Brian Haston, who's slowly becoming a channel legend, not quite there yet, but you're getting there. Plain and simple, boring, was like a game of tennis. Punt, 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 but going for 55. Um, Luke Marshall, Luke Marshall, 1972. Alec Bombskier, completely disagree, made an absolute wonder save. Uh, Wacom was decent, the young boys did well. Uh, also, it's funny, it, it finished 2-1 the one time you didn't predict it. Funny look, Marshall. Let's see who it is. Come on. Scott, uh, Scott Young at WATP underscore Pedro. He sent in a note, I always appreciate that. Uh, great win again, we didn't show up uh, for the first 20 minutes, but after that we bossed the game. Great goal from Ken Kenny, well done by Tav, thought the kids did really well, especially Bar Jonas. Sort of running theme, I'll read out a couple more. Uh, oh, I just want to write, I need to say his name now. No, actually I want it. Mark Mendes also wrote to me, you know who threw his top into the fans and waved as if saying goodbye. Kashina is doing the bounty the now with the fans. Haha, <laughs> no joke. Class, I appreciate that. I'll read it two more and then we'll end it over there. So Jared Robertson at Jared Robertson. Good uh, good game. Should have finished with more uh, should have finished more of our chances, but that's what's been happening all season. Completely agree. Just imagine where we'd be if we had a goal scorer. Matthew Taylor, Matthew Taylor, one one. Defence was shocking, but we won, and I guess that's a matter of Matter, thank God this season is over. Completely agree. I thought the defence was actually pretty good for the, all the young laddies. Uh, that is it. I'm going to end. I do apologise if I've missed your last recap. But again, don't worry. I'm going to give you another chance to be a part of the subscriber recap of the season. So that will be coming on a few days' time. Make sure to be still firing people in, tweeting whoever you want to be in the video. Send them over to me and we'll discuss it and we'll get it sorted out. I have been CJ Novo 92 Make sure to be smashing that like button, lads. Because it's the last one, let's really try and like smash the likes. Let's see how many we can really go out. Let's go out in style. Maybe the season let us down. But let's go out with a big fucking bang. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.